Hi, this is Prak with iRepairMD. And today I will be covering a very serious topic that is of great concern to all who is currently alive as a biological species of primate, us human. Regardless of age, gender, political, religious, or socioeconomic background, we are all susceptible to this paradigm-shifting, epoch-defining moment that marked this stage in our human civilization. A sneeze can send virus and other particulate airborne up to seven meters away and fill a hundred square foot room, lasting up to four hours. The best defense against this global pandemic is simple. Minimize the spread of this virus amongst humankind. Since we all can't stay indoor and wait it out, we need to be well equipped when venturing outside. Normally, I value my IP design and invention and restrict it to monetary exchange. But in the past month, I have been researching and developing a simple yet cutting edge design using environmentally friendly materials along with everyday household items to create what I call the MD Alpha Mask. This is an open source design. My intent is to make it available to everyone all over the world where anyone who have access to a simple 3D printer can easily produce one in very short time, using the least amount of material possible. The key material is PLA plastic, short for polylactic acid or thermoplastic polyester. It derives from corn-based plastic, meaning it is 100% biodegradable. Our filter medium will be coffee filter, Coffee filter is on the list of CDC recommended homemade mass filter as it, it is 100% biodegradable. A typical coffee filter is made up of filament approximately about 20 micrometer wide, which allows particulate through less than approximately 10 to 15 micrometers. A Brooklyn health facility in New York had resorted in using coffee filter due to the lack of 3M and 95 mash shortage. So the filter material, however unconventional, has been used in the field. The human face is as unique in shape and size as almost any snowflakes. It would be nearly impossible to mass produce a mask with a size and shape to match our facial contour. Bespoke or custom-made face masks are very expensive and require a long single run production time. The MD Alpha Mask is scalable using any 3D slicing program. Once created and assembled, all you need is a household hairdryer. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you guys to do is how to build. Once you have it printed out, you got the two pieces printed out. Okay, what you're gonna need is your household hairdryer and a hot iron set to pretty high heat. Okay, and of course the coffee filter. This we're gonna use three sheets of coffee filter. Okay. So what we're gonna do first with the coffee filter is pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and iron the coffee filter flat. We're gonna flatten the layer up so we get a nice circle out of it like that. Okay, so now that we have that circle, go ahead and get this mask, all right? We're gonna lay it to fit the coffee filter. And you have these these spurs right here in each corner. We're gonna push the spurs too. I made this orange so you can see through, but you can print it in any color you like, okay? We're gonna have a demonstration one also printed in natural PLA white to put on a mannequin a little later. But as you can see, you wanna push it down to all three, okay? All three of the mask here, all three layers, 
right. And then you want to go ahead and close all this. There we go. Make sure all the spurs go through. It's a little, be careful when you poke it, don't poke yourself. Okay, once you have it through, now you have all three layers permeated already. Now with a hot iron, you can see it's pretty simple. Just go ahead and flatten the PLA spurs. Just run it through so you can smear it. Okay, so the first layer will actually make direct contact and it will be extreme adhesion. And the second one and the third one will be using the, uh, the barbs that we are flattening out with the hot iron right now. Okay. And then once we get it to a certain size we need, we're just gonna ahead and run the iron slowly over. Okay, so now we have the iron listed now. Let's go ahead and run a little bit more around using the tip, trying to activate the first layer. And sometimes the second layer will also adhere because this thing becomes very malleable once it is heated to a high temperature. Okay, so now we have that done. So now let's go ahead and turn off the iron. We don't need it anymore. That's out of play. Flip it over, okay? So we are now gonna use a razor Then we're gonna cut contour on the edge. You can use an X-Acto knife or a scissor, whatever you want just to cut the coffee filter out. Cut the excess coffee filter. All right. I'm very familiar with the razor. If you guys watch my video, Frequently, I use a razor all the time. Um, it's second nature to me, but some other people might feel more comfortable with an X-Acto or a craft knife. Whatever it is, make sure it's shaped. It's, sh it's sharp enough that it can cut through this. All right, so let's remove the access sheet. Cut the one we need. Okay, now flip it over to the other side. Now let's go ahead and shave into uh, about, I'm using orange so you can see that the plastic barb is going through all three layers of the coffee filter. I would normally probably use white, it's a little more subdued. And using orange just to point out the obvious. And if you're working in public safety or medical service and you want to have this um, mask ready, having a bright orange mask is actually a, a key feature, especially when you need it right away. You don't want to have to search through all the muted white color of all your other gear, especially in a hospital situation. So orange is one of my safety color that I like to use a lot. Okay, so I'm cutting some more frame out of here. Okay, I'm, I'm cutting into it, having enough gap so I can put the gasket, because the next thing we're gonna do is actually apply the gasket to it. And if you order from me, you will, I will include a strip of this facial mask gasket along with the, the simple frame that you're gonna get, the, which is the orange frame that you saw or whatever color you prefer. Okay, so for the other, for the gasket around, I'm using insulation tape, okay? And I got this from Home Depot. I like this because it has a, uh, has a sticky adhesive side that sticks really well and also has a really nice cushion. 
So it's, it, it create a great seal around your head, your face. So let's go ahead and expose the strip. So let's open up the strip. Okay, now we're gonna run it to be safe right in the middle, right here. Now follow the frame. Turn it on a dime the way it's turning. This adhesive sticks really, really well, and it'll take significant amount of heat before it actually comes off. So it is, it can withstand a hair dryer or even an oven that's 100 degrees, 120 degrees above. All right, so now we're gonna run it around. Okay, I included enough strip to make a large mask. Let's see, it is exactly enough to make this mask right here, okay? So now you have this material, okay? I have Susie. I think it's what my sister call her. This is my sister cosmetology head. She loaned to me. And so what we're gonna do is demonstrate how we apply this on. So you could print this to any size. This is a medium size, great for Susie. She has a smaller head than me. I have a really big melon. Okay, and Susie is a small female mannequin head. And what we have here is the, the I shrunk it down to the small size mask and we already did all the assembly. So what we need to do now is go ahead and add heat. So we're using a heat. Hot heat. On here. Run in about 30 or 40 seconds. Make it really valuable. You can put it on your head, but this, I'm using a mannequin to demonstrate. All right, so now let's go ahead and worst thing we need to do with Susie is form her no, brim nose. So this piece right here, okay, we want this mask to actually form the shape in her nose. So we're gonna fold it to fit the size of her nose. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and form her lower face jaw. We're gonna squeeze this in. All right, so we have a perfect seal around, you can see, on Susie here. Okay, and if we need a little more heat, we'll go ahead and apply a little more heat. So now let's go ahead and shape it to her contour. There we go. So chin line, her nose. There you go. So you can see now we have it. It fits exactly to Susie's contour. You can see that the seal is perfect. What we need to do is go ahead and work on, and we're gonna go ahead and put the ear strap in. Here we go, we're gonna run it through. Okay, and so what I like to do is pull it about this distance right here, and then just gonna go ahead and tie it. Okay. And then just cut it. So now you need to put it on Susie. You can go ahead. And again, see this right here? This is also heat activated. So let's go ahead and work on this strap right here. Okay. All right, so we want to put it behind the occipital bone of Susie right here. 
So we're gonna go ahead and palm it. We're gonna rest it right behind Susie Asibra bone. That's where it's gonna rest. So you can do that the same for yourself. So we're flexing it right here. Takes about, as soon as it cools down, it becomes uh, in place. You can see now it's, it's a rigid structure. So now let's go ahead, put this mask on Susie. First thing I would do is I would run it into one of these loop right here, like so. Then put the mask onto Susie, or yourself in this case, here, and you can adjust the tension of this mask right now. And you can run this between the ears. And you can see now, this mask is formed to fit Susie. So after a full day's use, come back, you go out from the, come back from either yard work or to the stores and you need to, you're done using it. What you do is go ahead, take the strap out. Okay. So what we can do now, I have a solution here. It is 10% uh, uh, bleach, household bleach and 90% water. And so this is coffee filter. So it is, it's doesn't get damaged by water. And so when you want to sanitize, so you might be exposed to people who might have the virus or not. But what you want to do is go ahead and spray miss bleach on both sides. Okay. Now your mask is sanitized. What you need to do is just go ahead and dry it. Uh, leave it out in the sun or leave it in your room. Let it dry for about a couple hours and then you're ready to go and use it again. So this mask is designed to be used multiple times. Okay, and now that I've sanitized, I'm gonna go ahead and put it away.